Hello Year 4, welcome back to PSHE. This is Session 6. So we're now going to bring everything together that we've talked about over the last few weeks. Previously we've looked at intensities of emotions and reactions to emotions and how other people's reactions may be very different and looking at different scenarios for managing our feelings. So this week I'd like you to think back to previous weeks where we've drawn and been able to visualise our feelings. So we had some fantastic drawings of people being able to express in the graffiti wall how a word or a feeling might be represented. And we had things from the intensity of emotions. So I know lots of people drew uh, volcanoes for anger and waterfalls for being really, really sad and overwhelmed and that thundering water. And so I really want you to think about that. Now, at the beginning of last year, so just as this very strange time that we're in started, I had the pleasure of planting two apple trees in our grounds and it's quite a quiet area. So I'd like people to think about painting a pebble. So this is where the pebble from last week comes in. I'd like you to think about representing on that pebble an emotion so that if people are finding it tricky, to express how they feel at any time, they may well be able to go and sit in there calmly and quietly and pick up a pedal and be able to show how they feel to somebody else. So, I've picked a few scenarios that we all might feel. Now, very, very different pictures and not just about those intensities. Now, here's this volcano I talked about. Um, that was so expressive. And I looked at much more emotions so that I know lots of us sometimes on the playground feel that we're standing outside everybody else and we're not quite integrated into the group. And it could be, but this is all through life. So come July, um, when the year sixes leave us, Lots of them might be feeling this sensation or emotion prior to going to senior school. Or if you're moving house, how do you feel about coming into a group that's already there and established and you are the new person? This one, it took me a long time to see. I first of all saw a beautiful dolphin. And then when I took a closer look, I saw that he was trapped and he was stuck and he needed help and he couldn't get out. So sometimes we might feel that, that we're just stuck and we can't, we want to swim, we want to do what everybody else is doing, but we just need a little bit more help. Here is the waterfall I spoke about. Sometimes we might feel that we're a little bit broken, we're not quite whole. And I thought the smashing of a lolly or a sweetie was really nice visual interpretation of that. You might feel like you're a bit of a jigsaw piece. Either that you're about to fit into that whole beautiful picture or that you're not sure where you fit in and you haven't found that place yet. And this one was one of my favourites. I thought this was brilliant. The showing that your brain has got so many things going on inside it because it is working so hard that actually sometimes you just think your head might just explode, okay? Or that you just can't quite organise your mind, okay? So there are lots and lots of different pictorial emotions we can come up with. So I had a quick go and I'm not a very good artist and my class will tell you. And I had a quick go at painting on some pebbles. I tried the volcanoes, but it's definitely not as good as some of the ones I've seen from you at home. 
And I tried this one, I painted this one first in a bit of a spray paint. Now it made my pens quite difficult to use. So I had a really nice calm tree because I like the outside. And I had a river, but I tried to put my waterfall in as well. So it could be seen as a really nice calm place to go, or it could be seen as a quite tumulus, water flowing, babbling, crashing, roaring of water as it comes over this cliff. So lots of these pictures could be seen in different ways. I'd like you to have a look, OK, and see if you can draw me a pebble that could go into our garden. And when you come back to school, if you could bring it with you, then we could go out and put it in the garden. And I'd be really lovely. I'd really love to see some photographs. So thank you very much. See how you get on. I'd love to see them. Thank you.